And I'm if you're numb. still feeling down at the end of all this, like I said a second ago, one of the other stories that we're covering, and there is always this, and this is for you. National Hug Day. <laughs> National Does Hug Day, help? how awesome is this? Technically it was Sunday, <laughs> which was much needed for the... Oh, it was Sunday. So that, that explains why the refs were hugging the Patriots. Now I get it. The refs were hugging the Patriots because it's National Hug Day, but people gathered all over Southern California to set records for National Hug Day. The world record includes most nationalities in one group hug. First hugs from space and most 21 second hugs. I, why 21 seconds? I don't get it. Officials from the Guinness Book of World Record uh, are still working to verify these. Uh, do you have to hold the hug for I, several no, seconds? No, I'm what, not quite what qualifies sure. Qualifies as a full hug. I, I'm not, I don't know. And Ask in this the day and age, don't we have to be record. careful how we hug? Like, don't, don't we have to? We have to watch that now. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be okay. Are you gonna be able to get through the show today? Because <laughs> you got a lot coming up. I think I think it's almost out of my system. Almost. It's almost out of my system. Award season continued for Hollywood because it's not going to continue for the Jaguars. <laughs> Two weeks after the Golden Globes and six weeks before the Oscars, the Screen Actors Guild, or SAG, awards honored the year's top performers in TV and movies as voted on by their peers. Mark Barger wraps up some of the big winners. Hi, Mark. Three billboards outside Emmy, Missouri. A dark comedic drama about a mother's search for justice earned top honors at the SAG Awards Sunday night. Outstanding performance by a cast and best actress for Frances McDormand. She saluted the film's writer-director, Martin McDonough. He wrote, meticulously crafted a tsunami, and then he allowed his troupe of actors to surf it into the shore. The film also brought supporting actor honors for Sam Rockwell, while Gary Oldman won Best Actor for playing Winston Churchill in Darkest Hour. And I am so deeply, deeply honored. Allison Janney. Allison Janney also repeated her Golden Globes win as Best Supporting Actress for I, Tanya. In the television categories, Nicole Kidman won Best Actress in a limited series for Big Little Lies, her first SAG win after 10 nominations. To receive this at this stage in my life, is uh, extraordinary. The cast of Veep won Best Comedy Ensemble, but series star Julia Louis-Dreyfus was not on hand to accept Best Actress as she recovers from breast cancer treatment. Honors for Best Actor in a Comedy went to William H. Macy for Shameless, while Sterling K. Brown won for Drama and saluted his This Is Us castmates. You guys feed me day in, day out. You raise the bar. And minutes later, the show's entire cast came on stage celebrating a win as best drama ensemble. Mark Barger, NBC News. Also among the night's winners, not the Jaguars, but not on hand to accept was Claire Foy. It was her second straight win as best actress in a TV drama for The Crown. The evening also included a lifetime achievement tribute to Morgan Freeman. Okay, so whether you spend your days on the golf course where you might be spending a lot of time. Now uh, we will. Try, right, you have some extra time on your hands or somewhere else entirely. This next story is sure to hit home somewhere with you. That's right. Greg Bledsoe introduces us to a man who claims to have more than a little good luck in his swing. This 73-year-old golfer has a story you might not believe. I put one in on number one, and then I put one in on number ten. Bill Serrano claims to have hit... 324 holes in one in less than five years. 529, 2013. I put my book one, you know. Proof, he says, is written on 324 golf balls displayed in his one, living room. Two, three, four. And on a calendar. And a half. Marking each one. 200. It's unbelievable. You know, I started telling him to just let me know when he didn't get one because it seemed like every day he was getting a hole in one or more. Okay, so mm -hmm. for all you purists out there, we do want to qualify this a bit. Yeah, put that one a little bit. About half of those holes in one came when Bill was practicing. And even when he plays, it's on courses where every hole is a par three, usually shorter than 100 yards. See that one? But every one of them in yeah. one swing. Hit the flagpole. And that's not really the point anyways, because this isn't really a golf story. This is a love story. She kept me on the, on the line. <laughs> Five years ago, Bill lost the love of his life, his wife of almost 50 years, to cancer. It's lonely, you know, to all of a sudden be by yourself. So, yeah, he was a little lost after. I need to do something. Got to why I would never made it. Which is why he took up golf again for the first time in decades, and that's when something strange happened. You see, Bill's wife, her high school class ring had been taken when she was a teenager, and then not long after she died, the relatives of an old boyfriend found that ring. So we went and got the ring, and after that, they, 
we got the uh, got a hole in one. I said, well, that's kind of nice, you know. He's been wearing it around his neck every swing since. And I had the ball, and it felt like someone taking a ball, you know, put it in the hole. I don't know why, but he felt like that. He thinks it's my mom, and I, you know, I agree. They were very close. They spent every moment together. Bill realizes not everyone may count his holes in one the same way he does. And that doesn't bother him one bit. I said, well, that's my thing. It's something I've done. But every one he put in, it felt good. Because it might be the last one. Well, there you go. There's good some for perspective. You, Bill. I, I'll good tell you, I've never, uh, I've played a lot of par three courses, and I've never gotten a hole in one on a par three. Yeah, I mean, it, pitch and putt courses with the 100 balls on the green. Um, but no, that's really cool. And, and golf is. Uh, I mean, I've, I've played golf since my dad put a club in my, in my hand at probably five years old. And um, it is, over the years, it is great therapy. Oh, I think you should head out there then. Yeah, I will. <laughs> now that we finally have warm weather back. Yeah, it's wonderful outside. It's beautiful. It's a great day for you to get out and get some fresh air.